Oh, no, not that way. Huh? Okay, here we go. Let me line my camera up. And voila, we are go. Ish. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Naomi. Glasses on. <sighs> All right, welcome to day one of the Great International Craft Show with Craft Alive. Hello, ladies. Hello, the lovely Linda Pearson. How are you, Shirley, Karen? God, the whole team's here. All right, let's get making. As part of the Great International Craft Show for Craft Alive and Natalie May Scrapbooking, today I am going to be creating... We're going to be doing a couple of live Facebooks. Oops, sorry, camera adjustment. There we go. A couple of live Facebooks just to have a bit of a play with some bits and pieces and show you some techniques, make something pretty, and have a little bit of fun while we are doing it. Um, there we go. So. Today being Thursday, we have got some great specials today. We have got 15% off of dies. We've got 15% off of stamps, 15% off thickers, and 15% off uniquely creative. So these are the items that are only available on special for today being Thursday. The... We also have some other great specials available. Um, so 15% off of select range of Natalie May scrapbooking collage paper. And a my dies are also 15%. We have an extensive clearance section, which I feel that you guys need to jump on in and have a bit of a look at. We've got a ton of clearance stock available. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just one or two pieces left that takes up room on our shelf in our little store. We also have um, about 30% off, a bit over perhaps, our Christmas 2023 range. There's a few bits and pieces left over from last year. And uh, I think that you guys need them in your lives for those of you starting your Christmas projects now. We also have a postage special, which I'll briefly talk to you about. Our postage special is you pay postage just once this weekend. So you pay $11.95 for postage within Australia for a flat rate standard postage. And when you place your first order with us, you will receive a discount code in, your, in an email, which you can then apply to the rest of your orders over the weekend. And what we will do is we will collate all of these orders together and post out to you on Monday, Tuesday next week. Postage is not free, but you can only pay, you'll only pay postage once. Postage for this special is for Australia only, and there is a weight limit of 1.5 kilograms. If your order is over 1.5 kilos, we will be in contact with you and we will make the magic happen and get it out the door as soon as we can. Okie dokie. We're going to have a new special tomorrow, so make sure you check on back for that. And today we have got a mini class, 10.30, 1.30, and then I'll pop back in uh, possibly at 3.30 for a mini class or a little bit of a chat. Hello, Linny Simpson. How are you, my love? All right. Hey? Oh, she's not well. Sorry to hear that, babe. Radio. so what I want to do today is I want to have a play with the uniquely creative die cuts that came in, which are super cute. Like, super cute. Um, now, whether you are team dog or team cat, 
completely up to you. We do have cuts available here as well. These are the creative cuts. So let me bring up to camera. Hopefully I've got no reflection there. Where are we? Down a little. Um, the cats. So if you are team cat, this little packet of inexpensive little die cuts should be right up your alley. They're, all the cats are on here. We've got ginger cats, we've got fluffy cats, we've got black cats, we've got white cats, we've got grey cats, we've got little cute cats. What's their breeds, Natalie? Their breeds are cats, Louise. They're all cats. Ginger cats and brown cats are all like their fancy names. Thanks for asking. I do know that one's called a Boston, I think. Tabby cats. Anyway, moving on. Um, but I thought that I might create something with the dogs. So the dogs are very, very cute. So the dogs, we have got Corgis and Labs and Dobermans and Schnitzel Von Crumbs with a very low tum. Huskies, Collies, Bulldogs. Love Brown me. Dogs, white dogs? Brown dogs, white dogs, little dogs, big dogs. All the dogs. So many cute dogs. Okay, so I thought I would make something with these today. Now, what I love is when we pull them all out, we've got some words here as well. Uh, so I'm going to assume that it doesn't say <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, I could make other words out of this, but we'll say it's called dogs. So you get two lots of dogs. Oh. We could say, anyway, uh, two of everything. We've got Poodle, and I'm just going to go through and have a bit of a look. And there's a little word here, so you can say dog's life. Um, cute little Pomeranian type dog. So I'm sure that there's going to be something here for everyone. And most importantly, there's two of each. This one is reminding me very much of our little Ollie. I'm sure this one is less of a jerk than mine, so we'll put him aside because that's really cute. Ollie's going through his best life at the moment of not being my favourite animal. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I have got some tags and I'm going to make these, make some little bits of art on these tags which I'm then going to stick onto the front of a card. Uh, I'm only doing this because, I'm doing it this way because I wasn't organized enough to get a card. And that's okay. So I'm gonna make four tags today. Harry McClary, there is a Harry McClary in here. Harry McClary and the Green Sheep are two of our favorite, still to this date, favorite stories in the May household. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with creating a bit of a base for these before I get creative and pop these embellishments on. I'm going to build my background. So I'm going to do some mixed media techniques. I'm also going to do some inking with some oxides and some stenciling. I'm going to do it a couple of different ways. So this is one of our collage papers. This is the pencil scribble collage paper. As you can see, it is a pencil scribble and it's done with my hand using a Stabilo pencil. I'm gonna be using the Dina Wakeley gel medium as my adhesive. A little trick at home, right on the top, GM, I know that's gel medium, so when I have it in a drawer, I can easily pick that up. Uh, gel medium is my go-to adhesive. So I'm gonna tear off and use this as my adhesive uh, and I've got some gel medium putting it straight down onto my tag and then putting my collage paper straight on to here and I'll go over the top as well with the gel medium to seal it up so that I know that I can then add something else over the top. I'm going to do that, add a bit more and I'm just going to balance it out by popping some on this side. I do not have a plan as per normal for Natalie May. I have just had a bit of an idea and that's all I'm going to go with today is 
my bit of a broken pile of pile of bits and pieces in front of me. Now I do believe this particular collage paper you will find on special. Uh, so it will be automatically discounted at the checkout. So if you're a little bit unsure, jump online, add something to your cart. Now not everything on our website is on special. We do have some exclusions. So uh, if you uh, before you send me that email and go, Natalie, that's not on special, just have a look and see if it's in our new for July section that might not be on special. Um, as much as we would love to give you everything on special, we just can't do that at the moment. So uh, there we go. We've got those two and those two. And then I'm going to use... Uh, no, I'll just use some color, uh, some gel medium on that one. Um, all right, lid straight back on, brush straight in the water. So gel medium. All right, I'm just reading a couple of comments. Sorry, is my connection to the TV, the grid lines of the mat? Sorry, what have we got here? I'm just letting that dry and reading some comments at the same time. Okay, is it my connection? Lou, can you jump onto your computer for me mm -hmm. and just see if this mat is making it worse for everyone? Oh, because it's too Because of the lines? Just ignore it. <laughs> um, so, and Chrissy has just commented about the paintbrush. The paintbrushes that I am using are from Art by Marlene. These are my absolute go-to paintbrushes and I use them for absolutely everything. My favorite thing to, um, to do is use those paintbrushes because they wash and they wear really, really nicely. What's happening? Okay, so the background looks all right on your computer. I keep getting that green block out. So that's happening on yours as well. Maybe that's just our weird connection. You get that awesome little green screen every now and again. I think that looks fine. Oh, it looks alright. She'll be right. We might try the other side later. I will try the other side later. I did use the other side when I taught my online class on the weekend. Hey, no complaints. No complaints. No one died. Okay, let's add some stenciling to our background here. So I'm just letting my tags here dry. And then I've got some Distress Oxides. And I'm going to have a look through my stencils. So here at Natalie May Scrapbooking, we have a range of different stencils available. I'm going to use my brick wall stencil today on one of them. And what else have we got here? What other things can I add for puppy dogs? I might use, oh, here's some I haven't put away. Uh, what do we got over here? As I said, working totally on the fly here. Yeah, the green thing, that's just, you know, just lucky. Just lucky, guys. And I'm going to do my field of flowers. And I might even do my layered. Where's my layered? Oh, that's a great idea. Lou, could you grab me another tag, please? Just a, just a singly. Somewhere in here. And for those of you playing along at home, this is just a little uh, folder picked up from... Office works uh, that fit the Natalie May scrapbooking stencils in very perfectly. Okay, right, let's start with the. I've got a Ranger blending tool. I have the Ranger mini ink blending foam. So I'm going to open a brand new packet. And I'm going to use, so I've got a range of range of browns here, okay? So 
Let's start with the brick wall and I want to create a bit of a distressed sort of background. I'm going to go in with some brushed corduroy and I do love using distress oxides because they're so very nice and creamy and I'm after a really rustic sort of effect. So I'm going to mix a couple of colours together here. Right, so got that lighter colour going in there. So that is a brushed corduroy and I will now go in with the new scorched timber. And yes, I possibly should have got a new sponge for this, but you know what? That's okay. We're creating the Natalie way today. And I'm just going to dab in and layer. So I'm keeping my hand on here to keep it nice and firm. Perfect. Naomi, you are doing a splendid job with the Link Ninja. So if I'm, if there's something that I'm using that you think, oh, I think I might need to have a look at that a little bit closer, Naomi, Naomi is currently linking those items in the comments. So if you are unsure about something or the price of something or is it on special, click on the link that the lovely Naomi is adding in and she will be able, you'll be able to see how much it is, is it on special, and do I need it in my life? I've got a bit of rusty hinge now, and I'm just going to add a little bit of rusty hinge to my edges in a couple of spots. All right, and I now have created this really soft sort of brick wall tag going on. Okay, pop that aside. Now I want to add a bit of inking around the edges. Uh, I have some gathered twigs. So when I'm inking around the edges of something, I'm using my craft mat in the background here, my ranger mat. And the trick here is to half on, half off, rolling your ink onto the tag, like so. Got a bit of a table wobble going too. All right, and I really like that. So here is the base for one of my first tags. Distress Oxides, a blending tool, and my brick wall stencil. Bam. Putting that one aside, quick drink break. Okay. Next is I'm going to use my flowers and do the same thing. And I'm keeping these colours here because I really like the idea of a keeping them all similar to the dog colours. So I've got some vintage photo. Oh, that's a bit darker than I thought it was. Must have re-inked these lately. But let's commit. Now, if it's too dark and you think, you know what, I really don't like that, that's okay. Turn your tag over and start again. <laughs> Works well. Righty go. Just gonna get that on. A bit more depth at the bottom to match the top. Round circular motions to get that ink on through our stencils. Oh, look at that. Super pretty. Uh, I am going to just sh show you on here. I've got this, um, got this dirty stencil now with all of this ink on it. I might flip that, give it a, a spray with water and use it as a stamp. So just giving it a spray with water I'm going to pop it on the top there let that ink transfer over give it a smush with my hand 
and I've used it as a stamp. Let's see if that's going to work how it does in my head today. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I like that better than the first one that I have done. How good is that? The byproduct. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that one aside to dry as well. Uh, I might just give this one a little bit of an edge, just using my dirty sponge, taking away that, that crisp edge and distressing it, giving it that vintage look and much lighter this time because I'm not re-inking. Done. Done, done, done. One, two, three. And the last tag that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my layered floral. Okay, so with this one, I'm, I'm going to go down here with this flower on the bottom and pull a little bit of the top, or am I going to go that way? No, I definitely want this big guy. And I'm going to use a little bit of washi to just stick it down to my mat so that it's in the right spot. I'm going to pop that there. So this is the Art by Marlene craft tape that she uses. It's a really low tack adhesive, really easy to use. Uh, and I'm going to pop that down here, just in case I get any movement. Um, now, colour wise, this time I think I'm going to use Rusty Hinge. Rusty Hinge. And I might use a different tool. This time I'm going to use the Uniquely Creative Blending Brush. And I like to put a nice firm hand down here working in a circular motion. So I want a, a lighter colour in the background. Now I will have to just apologise if there's a bit of camera wobble here. Uh, I just, sorry, not camera, table wobble. That's because I'm working on a trestle table. Um, moving this around up here. So what I like about the blending tool is that you can use it with any of the inks, just like, uh, like we normally would do. And you can give them a rinse under some warm water, give it a scrub and you can use it again. I tend to just wipe it on a damp baby wipe um, and that takes off that ink pretty instantly, but it's a little bit more gentle than the sponge that I used earlier. So I do find that it gives a much softer finish. So lots of things on special this weekend at Natalie May Scrapbooking. Uh, jump online every day, new special every day. We have another amazing special tomorrow and three more live Facebook mini classes and you get the bonus of having a coffee and a chat with me in the morning. I don't know how much of a bonus that actually is, but you know. Right, so here is the base of our... See, that's pretty just by itself, isn't it? A layering stencil. Uh, and now I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to line it up. So I'm going to line it up just visually taking those edges and those cues. There we go. No white showing. And it's really easy to line up and that is what I love. I'm going to pop my little bit of tape back into place. And this time I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Vintage Photo because it has more of a, Vintage Photo is more of a yellow brown. Um, and because I'm using orange here, I do want to grab that, that keep those tones the same. Now, I did take some off onto my paper towel first because I just remembered how inky that was. And I'm just going to lightly swish on. this color. So this is putting a little bit of extra detail. 
and it moved. There we go. A little bit of extra detail into our flower. So working from the middle and I'm working out. So this is just, for those of you who are just tuning in, I'm having a play with the Natalie May Scrapbooking stencils and some Distress inks and we're making backgrounds to do some pretty tags to add some uniquely creative embellishments. You know what? That's all I really want to do. Let's pull that off, see how she looks. There we go. I nailed that. Go me. Okay, done, 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 done. So I'm just gonna pop these aside to dry and come back to these guys. So these are the two that I added the collage paper on. Now I'm just gonna trim off here. Now my gel medium is almost dry. I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun in a second just to take that extra little bit of dampness off. So the collage papers are super easy to use. And a collage paper, these are what we um, produce and manufacture here in Adelaide. And we create designs based on what our customers want because you're the ones that are buying our products. Um, so that is really, really important to us. Now, if you are in Melbourne and you would like to come and do a class with me, I am teaching for three days at Paperific at the end of next month. I do believe I have spots left in my Saturday afternoon class as well as my Sunday classes. So please jump online and have a look. Um, you can do a search on my website for Paperific and uh, there you'll find the classes. Actually, it's also under the events section. All right, I'm just gonna quickly take the moisture off of these. And then I'm going to use Distress inks to colour our background here as well. Mary has just commented, she's booked in. Love that for you. All right. So this time I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to do a little bit of a smush technique. So let's get all the techniques done in the one hit, hey, with these Distress Oxides. So that was Rusty Hinge straight onto my mat. And then alongside it, I'm just going to add some Vintage Photo. Give it a spray with some water. And then I'm just going to smush it like so. And we're transferring those gorgeous inks onto here. Pretty happy with that. This one's a bit spottier. And that's, oh, and my dirty mat. So this time I'm just gonna get in here and taking the damp edge with my brush, taking the water off my mat and kind of coloring it up a little. Now, we have got a little bit, bit of a resist going on here, and that is because the gel medium has resisted the ink, and that is okay, because it's going. I'm gonna cover this up. But you can see that the collage paper has absorbed the liquid. And now I'm just gonna give it a quick dry, and then I'm gonna add some more color over the top. And I may just do it with a stencil. Actually, I'm going to do it with a stencil and some white gesso. Let's, let's mix it up a bit. All or nothing, hey? Let's choose. Let's choose. We've got flowers. We've got a brick wall. How about... How about some leaves? Some vines? So, gesso is an excellent white paint. 
it's an excellent sealer. So gesso is the underwear of your crafting. It's the knickers. That's the best way of describing it. Um, I'm just going to use a makeup wedge, just a little triangular sponge. Inexpensive, very disposable, and I'm going to layer this over the top. So because I could use white paint for this. This will work equally as well with white paint. But I want to use a sponge, I want to use gesso and a sponge because it's what I have in front of me and that's okay. So rather than going straight in with that big chunk of gesso on my sponge, I'm putting it onto my mat and then transferring it over just so that I don't get a huge amount and a big blobby bit with my stencil because nobody wants a big blobby bit. Naomi, what's this what's this stencil called? I've had a brain fade and I cannot remember. I know it's my hand drawn vines, maybe? Or something like that. I can't remember. I need another coffee. Alright. And while that's wet, I'm just gonna go in with the edge of my sponge and kind of extend those and join join them a little leafy vines I knew that Add a little sponging in here mixing it up a bit of sponging around the edges kind of covers up the gaps and you get this little bit of an artistic sort of background going on here and I do the same thing over here. I could also do this with acrylic paint. There's no reason why I can't use a coloured paint on this. In fact, there's no reason why I can't mix my Distress Oxide. Let's go with some Scorched Timber straight onto my mat. And then I'm going to put some gesso on my sponge into here and make up a little colour wash of brown gesso. It's not going to stand out as much, it's going to blend in a little bit more, but there's no reason why you can't do that. And heaven forbid I'm going to clean the stencil. So this little technique is super easy and you can just build these little backgrounds, create these little tag backgrounds. If you are doing cards, you can do the same thing. If you are making artist trading cards, you can do these same techniques. If you are working in your art journal, you can use these same techniques. You have the power. Now, I'm just going to sponge out some of this deep black so it's still coming through but not as strong and I can still see my leafy vines and I'm going to do the same thing here so I have got a dirty sponge we're going to call that so that it's not super super white but it's just putting a bit of a coat on here to tone that back right one Two. A little bit grungy, a little bit arty, but we're going to smash these out and get these done. Done, done, done. Distress oxides. I'm just going to pop those away. I don't want to use those again. And I'm going to add some stamping to these guys next. Hello, Kasha. Kasha, you're not supposed to be working, darling. You're up in the snow being a little ski bunny. Get off Facebook. Go and make memories with your eyes and your heart. Not on Facebook. You don't need to see what I'm doing. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alrighty. Stamping, stamping in the background here. I'm going to add Dina Wakeley's phone doodles. I'm waiting for the kids. Excellent. Um, Dina Wakeley's phone doodles. I have got a brown 
archival ink in my little mini tin in tree bark. Virgin stamps. Acrylic block. But FYI, Carl, should we miss you? I have to listen to Louise all day. Which is not a bad thing. Right. Nice and inky and juicy. <laughs> Love that. And I'm going to stamp a second time to get a shadowed look there. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Going to give that nice little. So this is Dina Wait, please. What did I say that was called? Phone doodles. Obviously doodling that she does when she's on the phone. I hear you. Do the same thing. I'm a big doodler. Love me a doodle. Like that. And now I'm just going to take my stem, the end of my stem, and connect it up and off my page. Love it. That's ample on there. And I might pop a little little colour on my little stamping on my brick wall as well. I'll use the other leaf that is in the stamp set. Oh, my Link Ninja has popped those links up. Oh, this one's gorgeous. excited by stuff like this. I mean, come on. How much does that rock? Um, I just want to put on everything now. Done that one. I've done that one. I've done that one. I'm definitely not going to do it on that one. That one's a bit busy to do it on. Yeah, no, I won't. Okay, knowing when to stop. As much as I want to stamp everything with that, I'm not going to. But I am going to clean my stamp. So when I'm purchasing a stamp set, I look at the stamp set and go, okay, can I, what can I get out of this stamp set? Am I going to get good value for money out of this stamp set? Um, can I use at least half of these stamps in more than one way? With this particular set, the answer is yes. I love the leaves. I love the leaves. The faces are a little bit quirky um, and they will look great on a background of something. Not necessarily my thing, but I can tell you what, those leaves are my thing for sure. All right. Uh, moving on. We have got Vintage Tags Cuttable. Um, I want to take some of these Vintage Tags and add them to my project. So I'm just going to whip across here and I've chosen the tags across the bottom here because these are the ones that have got lots of different color balance in them. So this has got some green in it, it's got some darker browns, it's got some lighter browns and these are tags that we've designed from Natalie May Scrapbooking. Uh, and I also want to put might grab a couple of these little ones in here as well. Um, and I like that these are easy to cut out. Now, you guys know I'm not about fussy cutting at all. Fussy cutting is not my thing. So if I can do this and cut them all off in a straight line with minimum cuts, then I can tell you right now I'm all about that. So these are $4.50 each. This is the Vintage Tag Cuttables. So our cuttables are designed to be really, really easy to use and they are on a really fantastic weight cardstock that we have sourced locally uh, and that we have spent months and months trying to find the right weighted and the right smoothness so that not only can we print with it, but we can stamp on it, we can make cards out of it, 
we can do all of the things with it. So I'm just going through and quickly cutting these and then we're gonna get onto some background. We're gonna add some of these puppy dogs and make some nice little tags. Right. And they'll all come together, I promise you. Should put that off to the side. And I wanna grab some darker tags here. One, I want that one. I want this one. I do want that one. And I'm just using my Timmy scissors. Timmy scissors are always uh, my go-to. I do love the uniquely creative ones as well. Uh, but I find that I always reach for the Timmy scissors. Um, and if I'm doing some super fussy cutting, then the uni uniquely creative scissors are my number two grab. Snip, snip, whoop, where are you off to? So for those of you just tuning in, welcome, welcome. We have got three days of live Facebooks. I will be doing with here with you and um, looking forward to sharing a little creativity. I will do an art journal page for my next class today um, and we will do, just punching some holes here guys, um, and we will, I might use some collage paper and create something quick and simple and easy. I need a smaller hole punch for this one but what the heck, let's get into it. Just the same. All right, I do want to grab. A couple of things off, there we go. I'm working up a sweat. I've got the heater on in here. It's all happening. Okay, I've got some doilies. Just paper doilies. I've got a stash which I've had forever and ever and ever. And I'm going to start going through now and building my tag, building my little background. So when you're building a project like this, I want to, um, I want to start, I don't need to do anything else to this background. It's super nice. But I am going to do a bit of a black outline. So the reason I'm doing a black outline, other than the fact that, you know, I love a doodle line, is that my image of my dog that we're gonna put on here is, and the sentiment that'll go on here as well, is going to have black in it. Um, I am gonna add a little stamping. These are the Kate Crane KC005 the number one stamps that I have been reaching for again and again and again and again. Love them. Right, I'm going to go in with a half a doily. In fact, I'm just going to stick it down. And I'm going to do half a doily. Oh, come on. I'm using my... Natalie May scrapbooking glue stand and I have wrapped some washi tape around here uh, around the top of it and then I stick a pin in it so I've always got a pin handy right. put that on there and we'll wrap around the back okay choose my dog Choose my sentiment. Oh, I love a big blonde dog. So my big blonde dog, I want to pop a bit of stamping underneath first. So I'm just going to use this little guy. And everything else kind of feels to be a bit brown. So I'm going to add some brown stamping to help anchor my dog. And I've got the Secure Creations little foam dots here and a tag. Am I going to put a tag on? Yes, okay. 
Pink the edges. Dun, dun, dun. Pop him on. Dun, dun, dun. I don't need to over glue. Pop a tag on. So my sentiment is going to run along here. My puppy dog is going to go here and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to foam mount him, her, it, blonde dog. And then the last thing I will do, and I will probably do it off camera, is pop on the sentiment. But when I load up the photos, you'll be able to see that. Radio, little blonde dog. Okay, keeping it simple. Okay, we have a little texture in the background. We've got our tag on here. Tag number one, done. Tag number two, I'm going to pull out a doily again. So doilies you can buy from anywhere. Of course, just make sure when you stick a doily on that you've only got one doily. Because, you know, that's a thing. They stick together. Bit of glue. And I'm going to do all of my tags exactly the same at the moment. That's going to go around the back there. Bigger tag. Edge it. So the edging, of, especially on something like this, takes away that freshly cut look and is a bit forgiving as well. I'm going to use a different... In fact, I'm going to use it... A little bit organically in here. A different stamp. Okay. Blue's dripping. Let's choose another dog. I'm on the brown dog. I'm on brown dogs at the moment. Oh, cute beagle. But he's too small. I feel the need for another big dog. We used our big blonde one, didn't we? Oh, but I do love a little snitzel blonde crumb. But he's looking the wrong way. If I put him that way, he's looking that way. So I don't want to use him. I really need a dog. Oh, really need a dog. Here we go. We'll use... That one's a bit light. You can never find the right dog when you need it, can you? I like this one. She's cute. Let's stick her on there. Since now they're all girl dogs. And I'm going to foam tape it to give it a little dimension. How am I going for time? Excellent. I'm going to pop that on. So what happens with the... Uh, with the doilies, it adds a little bit of softness to it. The tag kind of works in with the colours. Like I said, there's going to be some sentiments on here as well. Uh, this one, we'll do the same. We're going to go with a doily again. Or maybe, maybe, maybe we will do a tag. tag and I'll do a little team of puppers this time we'll go with this guy this guy and this guy so the tag just gives me that little bit of difference oh, get in there I'm using the dogs Lou got some puppet dogs happening Right, tag there, and I can tie a bit of string through these as well, that will work. I'm going to stick um, Big Fluffy Dog down flat, and then I will foam tape short, cute dogs in and around it. So then they've got a little bit of shadow underneath, and they won't sit so flat and on top of each other. But what's going to make the difference with... Oh, I forgot that outline. What's going to make the difference with these is the sentiments that I add as well. Finding some cute, quirky little sentiments makes a big difference. Get in there, get in there. And he can go 
up a little higher. Outline. The Queen's Corgis. The Queen's Corgis? Yes. Yes? Does he have them now? Well, they're not the Queen's Corgis anymore, are they? Well, I suppose they are. <sighs> we do have some black waxed twine as well. They will go on here beautifully. And what I like about the black waxed twine, which seems to be very difficult to say, uh, the black waxed twine will um, beautifully match in with this black outline. I will grab some and tie some tie it through these little holes here. Um, the little outline makes a big difference. So there's three, and I've got a couple more to do, and then we are done. Where's my brick wall? In the background there. Let's do that one first. Look, Louise, there's actually people watching. I don't know why I should be surprised at that. You guys are always here to support me. Support us. All right. Oh, this one gets a bulldog. Look at him. So handsome. Because he goes through the walls. Because he goes through brick. He goes through, um, he goes through screen doors very well. He doesn't have friends. He doesn't need a friend? He doesn't. Know. He doesn't need a friend? No, no, no. he doesn't normally he have doesn't, friends. No, mine doesn't have friends. <laughs> no. Um, do we want to add him on a little doily? Let's have a look. A little corner doily. Don't hate a little corner doily. So let's get in here with a little glue straight onto tag. If you give him a friend, he'll have to be right up in the corner. Yeah, I don't think he needs a friend. My little jerk doesn't have any friends at the moment. Well, he's, I'm not his friend at the moment, I can tell you right now. So for those of you who don't know, uh, we have two bulldogs. We have Ollie and we have Macy. And if you have a bit of a stalk back through our Instagram, you will find numerous images of Ollie and Macy over the years. Um, in fact, I think we've actually had Ollie four years today. Yesterday. Um, and Ollie is... A bit of a jerk at the moment. He's not our favourite dog today, or this week. He's decided to take it upon himself to um, have things just explode in the backyard and he's just been a bit of a jerk. But I think all dogs have this, go through this little phase every now and again. All right, I'm gonna keep that simple and add on a sentiment as well. But it doesn't have to be complicated, does it? It doesn't need all that extra stuff going on okay our mixed media tags are going to have a little bit of a different finish to them uh, and while I'm just scribbling through this um, just a friendly reminder we have got 15% off of where's my list 15% off of dyes today, today only being Thursday, the 18th of July. It's my best friend's birthday today, too. Uh, we have got 15% off of stamps. We have got 15% off of uniquely creative products. And we have got 15% off thickers. You will also find a broad range of other specials available on nataliemay.com.au. And we have, uh, and there, every day we're going to be having a new special. There is a excellent postage special as well. And that is you can, uh, once you place an order, you will be given a discount code for complimentary postage on your additional orders over the next couple of days. So in order for you to take advantage of the online specials this weekend, uh, you can, oh, I don't want that, I want that here. You can uh, apply the discount code that we give you uh, and then you can have, we can put all your orders together so you only have to pay postage once. 
I'm going to pop this word on this one. Um, and I will be back again today for a couple more live Facebooks. And if you are part of our online Natalie May scrapbooking community, tonight, the incredibly talented Neve Bailey is doing a live Facebook for us. So you can jump on and join the girls and watch Neve create an art journal page using some of our new collage papers. Um, Neve, as most of you know, is from Tassie and where's some of these cute little white dogs? Uh, and Neve has created a stunning page and she's going to show you how to create that. So make sure you jump over onto the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community. Um, Naomi, can you link to the group? That would be splendid. Right, so this one's going to need some, need a bit of a sentiment across there. Pretty happy with that. And this last one, let's find some more puppies. Another doily. So yes, Neve is um, very graciously donating her time this afternoon or this evening to do a little free mini class for you as part of this incredibly awesome weekend for those of you who love doing a bit of art journaling. Okay, last puppy. Let's find what have we got here. I love him. He's just so cute. Let's stick him on there. All right, so just finishing up. Um, these lovely little tags, little projects, what I'll do off screen is I will go through and add some sentiments to them and some ribbon. Uh, I will use, oh, oh, oh. I will use our, um, some, some Natalie May scrapbooking real quotes, some, I might use some funny quotes um, or some, some clever quotes. And we will, and I'll take some photos and add them onto the page here so you can see them. But we've created some simple, I hope I didn't make those too complicated or look too complicated. Creating things like this can be really, really fun if you allow yourselves the time to create. Um, tool dog, blonde dog, oh, here we go. I haven't used him, have I? Oh, let's add him on there. He's a good one, even though I did get him ready. So these little die cuts that I've used are from Uniquely Creative, which are 15% off for today only. So that's We've got the dog ones available. We also have the cats available too. So if you are team cat, then you can certainly make the most of those. Um, so just touching back, we have got some tags that we've made using stencils in our background, collage paper in our background, and I'm going to jump in and add some string and some sentiments and we are done. So really great. And these will sit really nicely on the front of a, uh, a tag. They'll make a nice little uh, attachment to a gift if you're gift wrapping, gift wrapping, gift wrapping, and lots of little bits and pieces. So we've used my layered florals in the background there with some Distress Oxides, a field of flowers with some Distress Oxides there. We have used some collage paper in the background, the pencil scribble with uh, the Leafy Vine stencil and the Dina Wakeley one here. I might even pop another stamp up here. Then we have got our field of flowers used as a stamp with a little bit of stamping on there with the doily and our little blonde puppy. 
Uh, the brick wall, I love this strong, bold stencil uh, with the Dina Wakeley stamp in the background in tree bark, which is just a gorgeous colour. And I will add some sentiments to that. And finally, we've got our mixed media background with our trio of dogs with some dog's words on there. I'm going to tone this back with some um, Distress Oxides in a moment and some, what do we call that? Gesso. Quick, easy and done. So there we go. First live Facebook of the Great International Craft Show. 15% off of dyes on nataliemay.com.au. 15% off of stamps for today only, thickers 15% off and 15% off of Uniquely Creative, which are these super cute little die cuts I've just shown you. Um, there will be a brand new special tomorrow. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all back here at 1.30 for a really fun art journal page. I'll head off and finish these and pop them up online for you to have a look at. Have a great day.